Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris here. Today we're going to install an accessory on my tractor that I think is probably a number one accessory for any tractor, especially if you have a cab tractor. So if you stick with me, we'll get to it. But first I'm going to talk about some problems that you may run into with a cab tractor that this one accessory is going to solve. So one of the things that kept coming up the most whenever I was researching if I wanted a cab or an open station tractor was people complaining about if you were going to do any work in the woods to stay away from a cab tractor. The idea is that the branches are going to break the glass, you're going to break your mirrors, and you're going to run into a lot of issues getting around in the woods. Well, I ignored all that, like I always do, and went with the cab tractor as you can see. And what I found is if you take your time when you're going through the woods, you won't break your glass or your mirrors. A couple things I do have going on to help save me are these mirrors are super loose. I don't, I don't tighten them. So if they hit a branch, they just slide back to the, the cab. They don't break. Now the downside to that is the mirrors are always up against the cab when I'm going through the woods. So there is a trade-off. As far as branches hitting the windows and the glass and breaking the glass, I'm just real cautious when I'm driving through the woods and if there's a branch in my way, I just cut it down or cut it off. And I typically have trails that I stay on with the tractor. I try to stay within those trails. If I'm doing work off trail, I'm just extra cautious. And I really don't find it to be an issue at all. So another issue you run into with a cab tractor is when you're backing up to an implement and you want to hook up your implement, you've got this glass window in the way. I say it's in the way because when I lean my head back here, my head hits the glass before I can really see the implement. Now you can open the window. That will rectify your situation. However, what happens is, is I open the window and I forget the window's open. And then I hit my head on the window when I go out to attach my upper link. So, let's keep that window closed. And lastly, the problem you'll run into, really with any tractor, and this is going to be impossible to film, is... No, wait a minute. I have an idea. Maybe I can film this. It's hot in here. So the last problem you run into is when you're driving with the tractor and you have an implement behind you, you find yourself sitting in the seat sideways, constantly looking over your shoulder and looking back to the front to see where you're going. It's not terribly uncomfortable, but we can do better. All right, so I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> And get to working because this it might take me a minute to install this accessory and you might have already guessed what i'm talking about is a rear view camera i've been wanting to put one of these on ever since i bought the tractor i think it'd be an awesome addition buddy kevin i'll put a link to his channel in the description below go ahead and check him out it's a good dude but he turned me on to this mac backup monitor that he put in his tractor so i'm going to give it a shot in my tractor i think it's going to be fine my goal is to install it so it looks factory. That's, that's my goal. So <laughs> we're going to uh, tear into this headliner somehow. I'm not sure what it's going to take, but we're going we're gonna to try it anyway and see if we can't get this backup camera installed. So let's get to it. Okay, this is the unit we're going to install today. It's a Foku. <laughs> Anyways, this is not a review of this product. We're in this together. It's the very first time I've ever used this product. I'm hoping it's good. My buddy Kevin has no problem with it, so I shouldn't have a problem with it either. There are lots of units to choose from on Amazon. I just chose this one because it was easy because a friend of mine already has one and he recommended it. Which is kind of like what I'm doing for you. If you're interested in this unit after I finish installing it, there will be an Amazon associate link in the description down below. I do have to tell you that an Amazon affiliate link means that I do make a small percentage. And when I say small percentage, I mean very small percentage of each sale made off of that product. 
So before you flip out, go down in the comments and tell me how I'm selfish and just using my channel to prosper. Keep in mind that I would have to sell thousands of units in order to make any money at all. And 300 of you are gonna watch this video. All right, so let's see what's in the box. So we have a monitor and some instructions and some cables. We have some longer cables. We have a remote control. I'm not so sure we will need that. The camera itself, a mount for the monitor, suction mount for the monitor. We have some hardware, miscellaneous hardware, and we have a sunscreen for the monitor. What's this? It's double-sided. Oh, look at that. It's double-sided sticky tape. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbing and get to working. First thing I got to do is figure out where I'm going to mount this backup camera. That might be the most challenging. I'll just leave this camera on while I work and maybe I'll stop in and explain a couple things here and there. I am a professional. Huh. Okay, I'm not a professional camera installer, but I have been a mechanic for over 25 years. Maybe longer. I don't remember. I don't like to brag about it. I hate my job. Anybody can do this project. This is not rocket science. It's not very hard. The hard part is making it look factory. And I'm confident that we can do that. It doesn't have to look factory, but I want it to look factory. That'd be cool. Anyways, um, let's get to work. here's where we're at so far basically I've just taken down the headliner and to get this headliner down it's pretty simple you're I don't know what tractor you're gonna be working on but you're just gonna have these simple clips this little screw just pulls out of this retainer all the way and then you can pull the whole clip out but anyways Okay, so I got the liner out and I found these wires running up this back pillar. Now one is uh, power and ground all the time. We want key switch power and ground. So I went over to this plug. This is not ideal, but this is your my power for my air conditioning. But it is key switched and that's what I want. I want when I turn the key on for the camera to turn on. I tested the wires. I know which one's my ground and my hot. I'm going to splice into this factory harness. That's where I'll get my power. Here's my wires. I've already run them up through the headliner to the monitor. And I have the monitor mounted on the windshield. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. What's pretty neat that I discovered from this uh, system is you can run up to two cameras. So I'm going to do some research and I'm probably going to add a front mount camera. <laughs> I think... I think that would be actually kind of handy, especially when using pallet forks or hooking up the implements. I have a hard time seeing those over the hood, and it would be nice to have a camera up there to help guide for those two tasks. Let's, let's, I'll show you the monitor and what I did because I'm going to change. Well, well, we'll talk about it. So this is what I decided for the monitor for now. You will have to um, excuse my shakiness because I <laughs> am not connected to the mothership anymore, aka tripod. So it came with, well, I hope you can see that. I'm running out of daylight here. This window mount, and it also came with a bracket that you could screw into the headliner and mount or use a sticky backing mount. I don't like the stick, this double-sided sticky tape. I, I think that's gonna fail uh, hot and cold, hot and cold, and I think it's gonna fall and fail. Also, I don't wanna drill holes in my headliner in that area. This is, there isn't much behind there, uh, so it goes pretty close to metal. And then also air conditioning system is in this area. So I really don't wanna drill any holes in the headliner. So the the third option is obviously this suction mount well the suction mount that comes with the kit sucks and i happen to have a very nice heavy duty one 
you guys probably cannot see that the lighting's getting terrible it's getting dark outside so but i have a heavy duty one i have very little trouble with so i'm going to use that i well as you can see i'm using it to hold my monitor and I'm, i'll buy another one for a gopro uh, maybe two more. I'm weird. Anyways, next thing I'm going to do is figure out the mount on this rear camera. And then I can hook up all the wires and get this thing buttoned up and it should be done. It's, it's almost done. All I have to do is make the connection for the camera to the main harness and hook the main harness up to power and then put everything back together and adjust it. Quick note on what I did up there. Uh, that whole cavity and that cab is just completely hollow. There's nothing up there and it's plastic. I really didn't have any problem drilling into it. I, it didn't bother me drilling into it. So I put two screws in. I put silicone on the screw holes and then I drilled a larger hole for the cable to go through and I filled that up with silicone as well. So it shouldn't leak. If it did, it wouldn't be um, anything to to worry about. It's not going to leak that bad. Plus the, the roof overhangs it a little bit, so it, it should be okay. It shouldn't have any leaking problem at all. The only downside is at some point I was thinking about putting a light bar across there and replacing the two rear work lights and now i won't have that option because the camera's there but how do you gotta pick one right i'd rather have the camera i'm gonna continue working on this and try and get it all set up all right guys that's gonna wrap that uh project up you have to excuse the noise in the background there's some people with more money than i have anyways um i just wanted to show you the end results it's a nice clean installation we got the monitor over there one little wire running up up the pillar into the headliner and then we have no wires anywhere else I'll show you the camera Let's see if we can nice and clean the wires are siliconed in there everything's nice and factory looking Our one wire running down to our monitor, monitor mount on the windshield. Yeah, came out pretty good.
quite pleased with the results. I still can't quite see to hook up my implements, but that's okay. I'm okay with the way it is right now. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, click that like button and hit subscribe on that stuff. Helps the channel. See ya! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something different. No, we don't. It's not different.